obviously um, proud of our group uh, for earning another 40 minutes. I thought we played a really good uh, first half and as expected, um, Monroe did not have any quit in them. They came out in the third quarter um, and made a really great run. Uh, the zone really disrupted us. Their ability to get to the paint um, disrupted us. Um, our foul trouble disrupted us, uh, but I was proud of our, our starting group, the way they started the fourth quarter to send a message that you know we were gonna have the last run. So I thought we set the tone with rebounding um, really early in the game with Laney and, and KK Porter. Um, but, you know, survive in advance is what March is about. Um, but I think our team understands that in order to continue, um, we can't have a third quarter that we just had today. Thank you, Coach. Our first question does relate to foul trouble. It was once again an issue. How are you able to adjust to that today? And what does your team need to do to limit those? You know, it's, it's a catch-22 because we create steals and we create deflection. So we want our team to be aggressive. I don't want us playing passive. And with that comes foul trouble. And so we've got to, um, you know, I think for myself, I put uh, KK Porter and Lucretia Stanley back in in the third quarter with three fouls. And I'm going to have to have a heart to heart with our um, starting unit tonight and say, if you pick up one, I'm going to go with you because there's no waiting. There's no, there's no tomorrow. Um, and so they got to be disciplined and be able to handle that. And they're veterans and they're seniors. Um, so I think they can, but I think I could do a better job in trusting them and just putting them out there with three and, and, and not, um, you know, I thought in a game like today, our bench could come in and, and really help us and we're going to need them. Um, but, you know, that just wasn't the case. So we're going to have to um, be disciplined tomorrow. The next question relates to Lainey Gosnell. She's been outstanding of late. How important has she been to the team? So important. Um, she gives us an inside, an inside out attack. So like tonight, she didn't make a three, but she impacted the game with her board play and her ability to score around the rim. Um, certain nights, she's going to impact the game with her three. So um, she's been just so consistent for us too. You know, every night when Lainey steps on the floor, um, we know what we're getting with her. Um, so she's been really impactful um, for our program. You guys had 18 assists on 26 made field goals today. Can you talk a little bit about your team's ball movement? Yeah, uh, we're a team that, um, you know, relies on kind of the ball being the best athlete on the floor. So we rely on ball movement, um, penetrate, paint, paint touch to find big advantage shots. And I thought our team did that well. Uh, what we didn't do well was assisting the ball well against the zone. They really took away our penetration, um, which takes away those rhythm threes. Um, so I thought they did a good job with that. But we talked, we highlighted that at halftime um, in terms of 11 assists on 15 um, basket. So our team is very unselfish. They, they like to share the ball. It was a balanced effort across the board and the bench played very well, particularly Faith Alston. Why was she able to be so successful today? She showed a level of grit and toughness and she's a freshman. Um, and I thought that was just awesome for her on this stage as a freshman in the Sunbelt tournament. I said to the coaching staff this morning at breakfast, they said, if we're going to make a run, Faith needs to be a sophomore. Um, and today she just played when we needed a big bucket during those scoring walls, she was able to find the bucket. Um, she was able to find what I call big advantage. She was able to find the open shots for us. And I thought defensively, she was probably the best matchup on number 25 um, throughout the game. Our other guards really, really struggled to keep her in front. How important was it to have a strong start in the game? Very important. Um, I'm glad that you brought that up. That's probably something that I should go back to my team and talk about because I've been really diligent over the last few games that we need to start a certain way. We need to set the tone with our rebounding. We need to force turnovers. We need to value the basketball. And I thought our team did just that today. And did getting ahead by double digits early allow you to manage your minutes at all in preparation for having another game in the morning? It did. Um, I think early I was really focused on that. And then as they made the run, it was like, there's not gonna be a tomorrow. So we gotta continue to, to play. And then you also, you want momentum. So, you, you know, you, you want to save bodies for day, day two, but you also want your players to get confidence in the tournament. And so I haven't looked at a stat sheet yet. Um, so I don't know what our minutes look like, but we'll get back. Um, I'm really big in recovery, nutrition, sleep. Um, we'll do everything possible to, to have a fresh team tomorrow. And uh, time for one more question. What are your biggest concerns with UTA tomorrow? Their defense. Um, they do a really good job. We haven't, we haven't played against, uh, 
three two zone all year. Um, and so that's where this tournament's so interesting because we're playing teams that we haven't seen. And so we don't have experience against it. Um, so we've got to try to get our team ready tonight. Obviously, they were able to watch. They saw a struggle against a two three zone. So they probably feel really good about um, their ability to take away our penetration with the zone. Um, so we got to find out where they're vulnerable um, and be able to execute in the half court. Um, we also got to be able to defend them. They're very, they're very positionless in terms of their, their uh, personnel is very similar one through four. Um, so we got to be really connected on D. They're going to be a really um, difficult matchup for us. Thank you very much for the time, Coach. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Awesome. Thanks. Is that it? Thank you, Dan. Okay. Okay. Hey, Dan. Good to see you, Coach.